Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in Singapore. I'm here with Sunil from the data team. Sunil, yes. how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So, this event, how's it been for you guys? It's been very good. We have met people from varied domains, varied companies, and from different different technologies. It's, it's been a great exposure for a small company like us. Small company like the data team. What do you yes. guys actually do? So we are in the data strategy consultancy domain, and we provide services for IT and business transformations using data. So we provide services for the, in, in the data science, advanced data analytics, in the technical advisory for data architecture, and the solution design for the data. So we help companies transform if, if, if they are in the phase of data transformation or business transformation. So we align, we try to understand their business strategy and come up with the data strategy for the company for the next five or 10 years to come. Okay, because what we see, and I'm, I'm sure you're seeing the same thing, at the heart of this digital transformation sits data. Mm -hmm. And it's really integral to most companies. And that's what you guys help with? Yes, exactly. I think I'll say even say that this, this particular conference is important for each and every company in the region, whether right now they're in the, with the related to data or not. Because you see so many different domains here and so many different technologies that and they have a common denominator, which is data. So if a company is not using data in any way today, they should, should, they should start using it and come here and understand what, how exactly it can be used. Or, or perish either way. Yeah, yes, I mean, they, exactly. They have, perish in a way, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So do you see any unique characteristics of the Asia Pacific market that are different? Yes, so we specifically work in the, we, our company's focus is in the APAC as well, and what we have realized that it gives you certain specific challenges which are not there in the, in the already developed markets. For example, at times, the, the, the struggle you have with the data is that there are not much, many data sources. So you have to apply uh, some advanced data science techniques to infer those characteristics which are av already available in some of the developed markets directly. So in that way, it's kind of exciting as well, where you can do a lot of things and it's good for the whole uh, company and the whole data science uh, department as such. So what do you think is the biggest challenge that the companies you work with, mm -hmm. for them to actually use data in a way that, that helps them move forward? What's the biggest challenge? So some of the, so one of the very basic or the problem the company has is they say, okay, we have data, so what do we do with it? And how, to, how do we use it? So I think the, where exactly the companies are right now, they, sh they are now getting into the phase where they start, from, start understanding what are the tech, uh, technologies they should use to, uh, to get into the data or to utilize the value of the data. And then after that, they start answering, they have to start answering the question, how do we now utilize the value, the business values and the, some of the use cases that generates uh, ROI very quickly from those. So, uh, and that, that's a big thing for most companies yes. is demonstrating their ROI? Yeah. 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 Yes. So we, so we specifically help companies in that. So we do uh, some uh, very small exercises with the companies of uh, one or two months where we try to uh, generate or we try to solve some of the very specific use cases which can be done, done in a small time but generates a very high ROI for the company. So if you and I have this conversation, let's say 12 months from now, yes. what would you like to say changes for the data team and what would you like to see change in the industry? So I'll say we would like to have uh, more presence in the, in the APAC region here. And uh, for the industry, I think I, will, I would like to see more and more companies adopting the data and the data are moving and adopting the big data technologies as such. Because some of the clients we meet here, they are still using Excels and the very basic technologies gen in general. I think it is time for them to utilize the, the power of the data for them. So I think I, in, in the next 12 months to come, I hope to see that a, more, a lot of companies using that. Excellent. Okay. So Neil, we look forward to that conversation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike.